I know I promised a bedtime story, uh, BJ the $10 whore, but I really need to talk about this $10 whore right here on the screen. She's actually a $5 one. It's a two for 10, actually, not 10 one. But I got sidetracked again. I do that quite often. Oh, let's listen to her for a second because I got something I want to tell you. And saying, hey, mom needs help. Would you be willing to do this? Eventually, I got tired of the harassment. Like, y'all can see they're asking with the Nelly question. They were asking, they were doing this with my mom just incessantly. And I made a video saying that I would help my mother. I would give her. I'm going to tell you this. It, it was one comment you got. And it was um, as a result from, um, I was talking to Virgie about your mom being sick. And they just went and, you know, it, you know how things happen, but you were not harassed. And you were not contacted by the family. You're absolutely correct on that because, you know, the message your mom left for you, that she loved you, you know, we... we no matter what, we do love our children. I may not agree with them, but we love them. And that's something she wanted you to know. But your message to her was do this or, or else. And why you think that's acceptable, I have no idea. But at that point that your mom was, went to, by the time she found out, because she didn't go to the doctor very often, it was too late. So even if a organ would have saved her, it was too late. Not my, not my, my opinion. That's what they had told her. The doctors did. And you wouldn't have been a candidate anyway. Just keep that. You know, you, you get off your box. You know, you're not, you're not. Nobody would even accept it. Don't anything from you. She, you know, no one came to you because the only thing you would have done is made her last days hell, just like you did when she was with her mother, your grandmother, after your father. You made your mother's life hell. You made your grandmother's life hell. And I'm going to go into that again, not now, but later. You made your mother's life hell. You slept in a bedroom, in a bed, comfortable bed, beautiful bed, that you trash because you're nasty. I've said it before, I'm saying it now, you're nasty. No one could even go into the second bathroom. And you allowed your mother to sleep on an air mattress in the living room. And every morning you would come out screaming. And anybody that thinks that's just not you needs to reevaluate themselves. Because that is you. You made her life hell. You took the guitars that she had of your father's and you sold them. They were the Recon Fender, Fender Caster that he was so proud of. Because, you know, as original Al is discovered, his nickname was Rock and Roll. Because he loved rock and roll and he played. He played very well. And sometimes he would sing. I used to hang out with him because I would fill in. Just, I can't sing, but sometimes they needed somebody just to kind of, you know, in practice, of course. But they were good. They were, he they played well. And, and your dad played a mean guitar. Um, but you sold the one, the only prize things that, the, the, you sold that memory. You should be proud of yourself. You couldn't stand anybody being there because it took away from you. You couldn't stand it when I came. You couldn't stand it when anybody came. You certainly couldn't stand it when your mother came, your grandmother's daughter, her baby, her youngest. You couldn't take that, could you? Took away from you. You are deplorable. And what, let me, let me just play a little bit more here because there's something I want to definitely bring home. Me of the liver or whatever it was that she was needing if in return she would have a conversation with me that was documented in some way 
because these channels were harassing me and saying I was... No, you made it very clear. Now, see, here's what my point was. I'm not going to go through all your video there. You're, you made it clear in your own words that you wanted her to validate the lies that you've told. Prior to that, you wanted me to validate you by going away or to saying I'm a liar. By you were threatening to put your mom in jail because that was the, what you had at that point to use against me. You done threw my my deceased daughter at me. So you done wrote the book that was garbage. So you tried that one. I told you go ahead and do it. If you can do it, I'll go bail her out and we'll fight it. Because you were just throwing out there because you could not stand that not only had you been, dis the truth about you was being uncovered, then here I come to validate that truth. You couldn't take it. Because as you put it, your supporters went away. Your supporters meaning the people that felt sorry for you and gave you a couple of dollars and kept you going. Because see, you are, you are so stubborn that you are that person that will not ever get a job. You know why? Because you made a point of making a big deal about it a long time ago. You weren't going to work. And you, you've, done, you've done that. Congratulations. But you should have done it with some truth. You had the fake name. You could have come up with a, um, a fake story that would have kept you out of eyesight. None of us would have ever seen you. But nope, you just drug us right on through the mud with you and didn't think anybody was going to find out. Well, we did. And, and that's why I'm here. Because you, you crossed the line. And I'm not going nowhere. In fact, I have plans to reveal a whole lot more. I've been going through things tonight trying to get the proper things that I'll show. Like I even have a nice little paper from a discharge of yours in from 2009, shortly after you ran back to mom's. Because <laughs> that's what you did. You did her wrong. You stole from her and then you'd run back. And being who she was, she let you in. You, <laughs> you know, I've said that you uh, you look things up, and then you you get them. You know, you you look up everything you can look up to have it, and then you have to find the reasons why you have it. You know, I found something interesting in that paper um, that you signed, and they did was. It clearly tells me, patient said, now I can't, I can blur all of this out and I will do it the right way, but you tell them what you needed to do, what you were going to, what diagnosis you were going to have. Now they had a little different one, but you told them. And this was, but this was in 2009, like I said, not long after they had most likely requested that your records be submitted. You go to the doctor and you tell them, hey, I, you lied. I was diagnosed with this and that and the other thing. And I know how you work. And you don't like that. Now, so far you've been lucky that I haven't, you know, really put out some of this stuff because I have to be careful. But time's up. Time's up. Time's running short. And I'm it. And I'm going to get every last little bit out there before I leave this earth, I promise. Because I'm it. Unfortunately, I'm the last one. And um, and I'm going to going to do what needs to be done. You're not going to continue doing this. You attack other people. You attack the channels that have the truth. And the truth that they're showing is your tr you. It's you. So in reality, you should have been taken down. Because it's you. And the only reason they're being saved is because of the way you are. And there's no way to defend ourselves if you get rid of them and they can't come up again. You don't realize the harm that you have done to, uh, to reputations, to, to people's finances, 
So yes, they're very important that these things be kept because you are a master manipulator. You are a pathological liar. You are all those things that people need to be warned about. You were not contacted when your mother was dying because there was no point. You would have done nothing but made her last days on this earth miserable. There was nothing that you could give her other than your love, which you don't have any to give. You should be ashamed of yourself, but you're not, not at all. But just keep in mind, Missy, you are on here saying that they twisted and they did this and th no, you're calling yourself a liar. You are saying, <laughs> you're even trying to, you even saying some of the words and you're saying, oh, well, they, they, they did that and they twisted this and no, you said clearly, you wanted validated. You wanted an exchange. You wanted. And I, you even jumped the gun on that because no one asked you for anything. And I want you to understand this. You think everybody just watches you and, you know, just your mom and everybody just sat around waiting on your next video. No, they didn't. And I limited very, I didn't hurt your mom. I, it was very... You know, she knew that you were you were being out there lying, but I never even told her the extent that you were coming after our family and my family. She didn't know that. And she never found you because she really didn't know much about, you know, in fact, she never found you on here. She found you on Facebook once, and, you know, you were in the height of your donation, your pity party, so you just didn't have time. You know, I... She had asked me several times and told me she was sorry. And she told she told me she told me repeatedly to tell everybody else she was sorry for the way you were. Um she she took that very personal and it's a good thing she didn't see you. Um you you just don't know. And I'm sure you don't care. But I do. And when she passed away. It, you know, you want to say, oh, it's just because they, they uh, abused me and they didn't, nobody abused you. You abused you, just like you're doing now. And you prove it every day on these videos. You abuse you. You kick your own ass. Nobody else does. It was pretty unanimous that you were admitted because, to, I mean, she, she was gone. So, nobody wanted your name anywhere near hers. No one wanted the garbage put on there next to her. Because we know both sides. That says a lot about you. You were denied. No one bothered to contact you. Nobody wanted to. No one, no one wanted to. You didn't deserve to know. You don't deserve to know anything. And we don't deserve to have to listen to you. It's time that you find a job. And keep, and let me tell you something. Else. Everything that you get on here and spew about, oh, y'all need to find a job. You know, you're, you're, you're talking to yourself. You it's in you that you know somewhere in you maybe there's something that tells you that you're wrong you reflect that every time you do a video because you just do you do everything you say that they do and tonight this is just the icing on the cake you are sitting on here calling yourself a liar and nothing was twisted nothing was turned nothing was altered there's plenty of documentation out there. There's plenty of other videos, other places where your videos have been held. And they're all going to be the same. It's you. So, congratulations. I think you are the first person that I've ever known that called themselves a liar. You're the one twisting your own words. 
you're the one that kicks your own ass. You really got to get some help. That's not normal. Not normal at all. <laughs>